been like this for two days. I'm gonna go outside and show you. So I've laid out some plastic because this, these windows are just pissing water. Woo. The wind is all coming from this direction, so I've weighted down with the hatch that I bought for 250 bucks. That was a great buy. He just replaced all his hatches, and he was like, yeah, just give me 200 bucks. So that one's going to go up here. That way I'll have all Lumar hatches again. This one will be new. This one will be new. This one will be new. And pretty much all of them anyway. This window's peeing, so that has to come out. This window's leaking really bad, and they're a pain in the butt to get out. Look at it. They're recessed. There's not a lot of room to work in there, so you gotta make a tool and be really careful of the gel coat. And it's gonna be a pain. Yeah, I'm so close to the water. So close. I can taste it. My name is James Evenson. I'm a mechanic, a musician, and a round the world sailor. Four years ago, I'd sold everything and made some interesting life choices. I bought a catamaran, built a hardtop, sailed to Cuba, painted shark's teeth on the front of the cat, lost a rudder, built a rudder in a shed, lost the other rudder, built a rudder on the beach, dressed in drag, made coffee in a sock, dressed in drag again, sailed to Easter Island, sank the dinghy, sailed to Pitcairn, sank the dinghy again, sailed to French Polynesia, sank the dinghy one more time, got a new dinghy. I meant to do that. Sailed to Hawaii. Shipwrecked in Hawaii. Rode the catamaran down the street at 3 o'clock in the morning. Wrote some magazine articles. Started a Kickstarter campaign. Flew to Curacao. And now, I'm finally grinding my way back to life on the water and my next adventure. Okay, it's nighttime, so the video is not going to be that great. But this is a problem, though. Look at this. Galvanic erosion. Eight holes in the damn thing. I'm going to have to get all of these out and then take this frame out I have to have a welder fix this and uh, then paint it and make it nice oh, it's gonna go painless and all this has to be done before I go out to sea I have to rebed all of these dean big windows maybe not all of them before I leave for Florida but probably on the way <laughs> I'm gonna do like most of them and then the two I didn't do are gonna cause me the most problems and I'll have to do it out to sea or something <laughs> that's totally Zingaro style this is my buddy Hein you met him on the last episode. He was the one holding the big freaking stick. What? What's your uh, What's your qualifications for doing this job? Having a sailboat. I know, crewed on a 620 and replaced like what, six of these did you say? 17. <laughs> 17? You got this bro. I'm just gonna stay out of your way. I just got butyl tape today. Check it out. Butyl tape. Holy wow, that frame is big. Oh, I could just paint it again. I wonder what color it is. White. <laughs> There's oh, so many different kinds of white. That doesn't scratch the um, gel coat? It might a little bit, but you'll just buff it out afterwards. Like no, this. you'll just buff it out afterwards. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'll what am I, what am I paying you for? Wait, you don't pay me anything, right? No, I'm not paying you shit. That's, that was the whole point of the joke. Glad you got it. So, we found where it's leaking, right here. You see all the dirt, it's bringing, the water's bringing through, and it's really thin, it doesn't have anything there holding it. 3 on 4,000 is the way to go. It's, U, it's slightly UV resistant, so a bit better than the, for, than the 4200. Well, first Sounds get all good. this old shit off, because obviously you have to have a nice and smooth and clean surface. Is that just a razor blade? This is just a razor blade. You're not worried about freak fucking up the um, gel coat like that? Well, you just have to be slightly careful not to do that. Oh yeah, that's good work, man. You're good with that thing. You're handy with a razor, sir. So, look at this frame. This is another question. But look at this. This is the bottom of the frame. This is definitely broken. Come on, man. Focus. Focus here, people. This is broken. You can see the, that it's cracked. Um, I think I can get this piece made, or at least repaired. I mean, it seems like it would be too much work to repair. Like, it's not even straight. It's broken there. Maybe I can just have one made, I think. We'll see. Anyway. I'm gonna show you my editing station real quick. There's the editing station. Yes, I love my little editing station. That's so nice. You know what else I love about this boat? I can work out in here. I can I can meditate in here. I can do freaking jumping jacks in here if I don't raise my arms up. Yeah. Hey, I wanna make a shameless plug for Ortlieb. They make great, great dry bags. I'm not so sponsored by them. This is just me to you telling you that this is probably the best dry bag you can buy. I don't know if you guys ever saw my dry, dry bag from my older videos, but it rolled up at the top. That one never leaked once. I actually had that in the water. Like I'd throw it in the water and then swim with it when I didn't have a dinghy. They just came out with a new model, like maybe two years ago, and this is it. So this one has a zipper in the back. It's also a backpack and it's got a waist strap and it's got little pockets in here. 
you can access everything. That's why it's better than the rolling up dry bags. And it's made by this company, Ortlieb. This is an awesome pack. You can buy like little extensions for this, so you can put a bicycle helmet on it, or uh, skis, or a snowboard, or whatever. This one's called the Attract 45. They sell it in a 35 liter, and I think a 25 liter as well. This is the biggest one. Yes, it's red, but it was 50 euro cheaper to get a red one, so. And yeah, that's the best bag I've ever had. Go buy a dry bag. <laughs> They're expensive. Hein gets to be the ceremonial plastic taker offerer. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, I got it. Go. All right. Oh, no putting it back. <laughs> Are you ready again? Yeah, go, go, go. Woohoo! <laughs> New hatches. They're done, people. And they feel amazing and they look great. This is like the nicest thing on the boat right now. <laughs> oh my God, they look so good. That makes the boat look so much better. Now just sand the teak and we're good, right? Let's go sailing. That's holding this happen. Only the teeth. <laughs> okay, so after like four different decisions on what to use for this, we had bedded this with butyl tape, but we didn't have enough butyl tape to make it really sealed. After, well, how many different decisions was that, dude? I, I, I'm just doing what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> it's pissing him off. Yeah. He's paying me by the hour. It's fine. <laughs> like, he's paying me by the hour, so every time he changes his mind, I'm just like, okay, that's another 20 bucks. <laughs> he taped it down with this butyl tape. It, it sticks really well to your gel coat. I don't know, like it's butyl tape for um, roofs. Dude, and it's got aluminium on it, so this shit will take you to the moon, you know? This is like, like spacecraft shit. I'm gonna get more butyl tape on Saturday. Somebody's flying in with like 100 feet of it. And we're gonna do all of them. That one's done with butyl tape, that one, and then we'll do the rest. We're gonna go have some lunch and then we're gonna come back and get those big salon windows off. And then once I get the butyl tape, put everything back. It stopped raining, but that's good. It's, dude, because this boat has been sitting so long, I got really lucky because the, the seals were like resealed by the galvanic erosion and the oxidization. They just got into the leaks and stopped it. So as soon as I moved on the boat and opened up the windows, it killed all that seal and the boat's pissing every time it, it rains. It sucks. This does not happen on, on the Oyster. Oh no, no water underway. Okay, long story short, we bed this with butyl. We didn't have enough butyl tape. I thought it would be enough, but it ended up leaking. So Heinz is redoing it with 4000 UV, which he did a lot of hatches with and he says is the best stuff. I'm not so sure. I really like butyl tape. That one's done in butyl tape and that one's not leaking at all. But this will be a good test to see which one lasts longer, sir. When it fails, I'm going to call you. <laughs> find me, I'll be somewhere else in the room. <laughs> I'll find you. Pirate life. Yeah, so what he wants to do is nail these down just a bit and then we'll come back and do the final tightening later once it's an actual seal. Well, that's what's going on in Zingaro land. And the boat puppy. Kaya, what are you doing? Okay, big things happening on the oyster today. We've only got two, three windows left. And, uh, they are a pain to get out. The lip is right next to the window. Like there's not a lot of room right here. So we actually had to like push it out from the inside. So we can't get to the outside lip of this thing. That's the, you know, because the lip is so recessed in there that it's almost impossible to get something in there and under it. We're having to push it out from the back. We were able to push that one because I was pushing on this corner to get it out, but this one is in there, man. Holy moly. I have some serious ventilation in this boat, people. That is the side window. That went right there. That was a pain. Look at all this 5200. Look at all that madness. It's just barreled up in here like crazy. That's nuts, yeah? Just around, by the way. Oh, hello. <laughs> we got them out, boys. All seven of them. Now, next step is to take this piece of wood off. There's one screw here. One screw here and one screw here, and then unscrew it from this, take the wood off. And I think it's gonna come right off. I don't think it's glued there. Hopefully not. This piece of wood needs to be changed. That should be fun. So this is white sealant. See all the white sealant? 
that's 5,200 or maybe 4,000, maybe 4,200. Feels like 5,200. And they painted it black on the outside. They didn't use black sealant. I'm not sure why, but we'll see. Maybe they couldn't find black. Or maybe a Sharpie market. <laughs> maybe they pay a kid with a Sharpie. Hey, hey, kid, here's, <laughs> here's $20. Go paint in all the white. <laughs> We're almost done with this job. All right, man. We're almost done with this job. We just gotta prep those frames over there. See those? Sand them down a little bit, paint them glossy black on the outside, and then, uh, boom. Put them in with some sealant, which remains to be seen. Exactly what sealant to use. So I kind of want to use butyl, butyl tape, but I'm not going to have enough butyl tape, and I don't want to have to ship some more in. Um, what else I should shoot in? Every, yeah, a lot of people say I shouldn't, which, I mean, I've heard from um, the girl from White Spot Pirates, and my buddy Sean, that they both used butyl tape and it lasted them for years, like seven, seven years or more. So that would be nice, because I don't trust that 3M shit, man. That stuff, I had to rebed on the cat like every single six months to a year I had to take and rebed the chain plates and rebed. Granted, that wasn't covered, so if it's uncovered, then it goes to shit a lot faster than if it's covered by a window seal. But it still goes. <laughs> okay. Now that is where it's at, people. The pineapple. Yeah. The chicken. The sirloin steaks, really? That's you got to see your sirloin. You're... Yeah, my, it's très très bon. <laughs> We're having a little party. Yeah. This is a little palapa at the thing. You notice there's two guitars. Cool, yeah. I don't know if you to somebody. Did you try it? Yes, yes, yes. You liked the grilled pineapple? Yes, I didn't. I didn't taste before. Oh no way! That's the first time. High five. <laughs> Yeah, that's good stuff, huh? Klein, uh, Hein, I almost called you Klein. He's making <laughs> bread. You're like a day late and a buck short on the bread, though, man. Everybody's done eating now. <laughs> it's all good. You're just going to take it home and munch on it, huh? Yeah, man, they'll be dessert. Because they're sweet with sugar and stuff this time. So Ooh, really sure. we should put some honey on them. Yeah, dude, that's you do. Yeah. It. Mandatory dog. Oh, man, just giving in for those puppy dog eyes. <laughs>